Hi there everybody, um, hope everybody's keeping well. Um, on today's video I'm going to be changing the oil and the oil filter on this uh, Lexus CT200H. This is a 2013. Um, I've already uh, made a video of this one a while ago but uh, it was with my old camera. So I'm just going to remake it um, and hopefully it will have a slightly better image with this new camera I've been using for the past year. Um, for this vehicle, this is like I said a 2013 hybrid, um, it's a 1.8. Uh, looking at the manual, this car takes 4.2 liters of oil um, when you change the filter. If you don't change the filter, it takes 3.9 liters as stated here in the manual. Also, um, the oil grades they recommend are written there, 0W20, 5W20, 5W30 and 10W30. Um, have a look at your manual if you're in doubt. But they also have a little chart here uh, and the temperatures showing here where you might live. So if you're uh, in a country where temperature really hot or cold so hot 38 degrees or really cold minus 20 then uh, perhaps you want to use 0w20 but um, here in the UK I'm gonna be using 5w30 which covers a good range of temperatures um, and uh, you can find that information in your manual anyway so that's the owner's manual for the CT200H. Also, I'm going to be using this tool for removing the oil filter. You can buy this on Amazon or eBay, or most places really have this. Um, just look for a socket for the oil filter for a Lexus. So, as always, I'm just going to start by pulling the dipstick, which I've already done. Just put the dipstick up there and open the oil filler cap, which, again, I've already done. Just going to leave it sitting there. Now I'm going to get the car up and I'm um, going to remove the filter and drain the oil. For draining the oil, we're going to need a 14mm um, socket. So, just one of these. This is what I'm going to be using. With obviously uh, a ratchet. This ratchet is a good one. It extends and retracts. It's made by Worth and it's uh, really good for this kind of thing. And also, um, you can also move the head. To different angles so really worth it um, just before I get the car up I'm also going to be using this filter here this is my old filter I'm using this one today the Hengst E210H which is for this particular car you will find some old rings here as well which I already taken them out so just looking at the car from underneath, just need to open this bit here, just pull the center and you can take this out. There's another one here <coughs> and another one here. Also, there is a hole here that says um, for service, so you can swing this all the way back and uh, we can plug it in, in this other hole here. You can use one of the clips that you removed from the front. That's going to keep that cover open 
and uh, make sure you get yourself an oil pan and then we can open the drain, drain plug there and uh, just be careful if the engine has been running the oil can be very hot and you can burn yourself so Now we can let that drain for a while. And while that is draining, we can also tackle the filter. So get that in there, a socket, and then we can open that filter so we're gonna have some oil <coughs> dripping from there so just have your oil pan underneath to catch the oil and that's our filter in there Um, so I'm just changing the copper washer as well. Gonna dispose of that one. These are the O-rings that are inside of the the filter. We don't need that. So we can take <coughs> the old filter out. gonna put it in here for now so there's still some oil in here I'm just gonna drain that out okay so that's empty now and we can take this o-ring out and we have the new one here this other o-ring again we don't really need that one in this particular case um, you can just wipe a little bit of the oil that was around and uh, you have your new filter just push it in there now I'm just gonna put a little bit of grease around here You can use a bit of the oil that you're going to be using for the car just to lubricate that o-ring a little bit. We can refit that back in. And uh, we're just going to tighten that to about 25 newton meters, which isn't a lot of force. Um, if you have a torque wrench, you can use your torque wrench. Um, otherwise, 25 newton meters isn't a lot of force, as I said. So just make sure that once this is tight, just give it an extra little bit of push in there, and that's it. Again, these don't go in really tight. Just, uh, I think it's between 14 and 20 newton meters, depending on the car. So, again, not a lot of force. I'm just gonna rinse the area a little bit. Okay. 
make sure it's all nice and clean. This is just some uh, uh, brake cleaning fluid, brake and clutch cleaning fluid. So at least if the area is clean, we know that um, if there's any any leaks, any oil leaks, uh, we know that they're not coming from here or from here. It could be from somewhere else. But if they are coming from here or there, then uh, we also know we may need to tighten this a little bit more. And that's it from underneath. Um, now I'm going to lower the car and we can top up some oil. So, time to add some oil. Just get the uh, cup off and maybe get yourself a, a funnel. And uh, I've already put four liters. So I only use that container for measuring purposes because I've got a little uh, measuring um, lines here. So I've got, um, just put 200 in there, so I have 4.2 liters, um, which is in the manual. So the oil that I'm actually using, it's uh, the Castro. So this is the one I'm using. I'm just holding it down because just catching whatever uh, whatever bits is in there. Okay, so once you have your uh, 4.2 liters in there, you can close this. Just close that oil filling cup. And we can have a quick look at the dipstick here. The dipstick has got um, two dots. So this dot here is the minimum and this dot here is the maximum. So we just changed the oil, we're aiming to be at the max. Um, if I check it now, it will probably be a little bit above the max and that's because some of that oil will go into the oil filter housing once you run the engine and then this will drop to the max when you measure it again. Okay, so just having a look at that now. You can just about see it's a little bit over the max dot there. It's up to more or less that point there. And that's pretty much expected. So I'm just going to get the car running now. Okay, so we'll have a look again. And although, again, it's a little bit hard to see because I've got oil, need to get the, um, need to let the um, oil settle down a little bit and then we can recheck it. 
Okay, so just left that for five minutes or so. Just a, a rough check here, because I haven't got much time to be waiting, but um, if we have a look at the dipstick, I can see the oil is just settling just, just below the max. It's a little bit hard to see, but it's just settling around here. So I'm happy with that. And, um, and that's pretty much it, really. So I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.